we'll go back to the show. So here we go. A gift for from Nurse Snoopy as a rubber. Alrighty. And this was it says copyright 2015. The hallmark of our gun. Some stuff right there. So here we go. As Halloween approached, Flynn is sat down to raise Trey's annual letter. Dear Great Pumpkin, I am looking forward to your arrival on Halloween night. I hope you will bring lots of presents. Charlie Brown thought Linus was crazy. Linus' sister, Lucy, thought so too. You're making me the laughingstock of the neighborhood, she said. Sally didn't think Lucy was uh, sorry. Sally didn't think Linus was crazy. In fact, she decided she would join her sweet pepper in the pumpkin patch. They were waiting for the great pumpkin to arrive together. When he checked his mailbox, Charlie Brown was excited to discover an invitation to Violet's Halloween party. I've never gotten an invitation before, he said. Your name must have wound up on the wrong list, Lucy said. You were you were on the don't invite list. Good grief, Charlie Brown sighed. Poor Charlie Brown. Yeah. Like your straw hat. Thanks, I had it for some time. I love your bandana, big brother. Well, I think it's got Snoopy on there. Oh, yeah. Nice. <clears throat> on Halloween night, the gang set out in their costumes. Linus stayed behind in the pumpkin patch and invited the gang to sing pumpkin carols. Lucy didn't want to miss out on the fun and march past him. Look at those costumes. Sally thought about going trick or training, but she decided to stay with her sweet Babu. Lucy pulled double trick or duty. It's so embarrassing to have to ask for something extra for that blockhead Linus, Lucy complained. I got a chocolate bar, Pig Ben said. I got a quarter shorter screen. I got a rock chair by side. Poor Charlie Brown got a rock at every house. Mmm, raining candy. After trick or treating, the game went to Violet's party. On the way, they saw Linus and Lucy still in the pumpkin patch. They'd already missed trick or treating. Would they miss the party too? Did they really think the great pumpkin would show up? The other kids couldn't believe it. Just wait until the great pumpkin comes, Sally defended Linus. Linus knows what he's doing. The Great Pumpkin will be here. At the party, the game listened to music and, and ate popcorn rice. All right, all right, let's bob for apples, Lucy said. You ever wonder what kind of music they're listening to? Maybe we're a little one of London, Monster Mash, Ghostbusters. Who knows? Back at the pumpkin patch, a shadowy figure was starting to rise out from the pumpkin patch. Linus was so excited he fainted. Ooh, it's a full moon in that picture, isn't it? Look at that. But it wasn't the great pumpkin. It was just Snoopy in his Halloween costume. Linus woke up. What happened? I was robbed, Sally yelled. I spent the whole night waiting for the great pumpkin when I couldn't have been out for tricks or treats. Halloween is over and I miss it. Sally went home and left Linus alone in the pumpkin patch. So it turns out I was in the great pumpkin, it was just a shadow figurine of Snoopy dressed up as the Red Baron. You got him good, a big old brother. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> well, another Halloween has come and gone, Charlie Brown said the next morning. I don't understand it. I went out, I went trick or treating, and all I got was a bag full of rocks. And the great pumpkin never showed up, asked Linus. Nope, Linus said. Well, don't take a tour, however. Don't take it too hard, Linus. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. Too. Stupid? What do you mean stupid? Just wait till next year, Charlie Brown. You'll see. Next year at the get this time, I'll send that pumpkin patch until the green pumpkin appears. He will rise out of that pumpkin patch and he'll fly through this bag of toys. Just wait and see. Good brief, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown got. If you enjoyed this book, or as it touched your life in some ways, which we hope it did, we'd love to hear from you. Please send your comments to Hallmark Book 
Hallmark Book Feed Feedback, P.O. Box 1419 Mail Drop 100, Kansas City, Montana 64141, or email us at booknotes at hallmark.com. And that is it. That is a major difference. For, that is a big old major difference between the book and the actual film. Not a lot of lines from the film in this book, in case you notice a difference. Stay tuned for the last part.